and a half minutes to the gentlewoman from Florida, Ms. Wasserman Schultz. The gentlewoman from Florida is yielded two and a half minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I rise in strong opposition to H.R. 5, which we should really call the Politics Over Parents Act. As a mom of three, let me be clear about what this le legislation would do. It opens the door to gagging educators, parents, and students, and turns classrooms into archaic tools for a vocal extremist minority. Worse, it undermines what any mother wants for her child, a supportive classroom space that provides a fact-based education and practical life and critical thinking skills. Just look at the colossal education nightmare unfolding in my home state of Florida right now. Governor DeSantis and his stooge Florida lawmakers propose prohibiting girls from discussing their menstrual periods with one another while in school. They are already banning books, and they are barring certain elements of African Americans' history from being taught in school. Governor DeSantis and his radical allies are also waging a cruel campaign to marginalize Florida's LGBTQ community and suppress the histories of others they deem unworthy. The Republican revival of the Lavender Scare includes shutting down businesses and passing a Don't Say Gay law that bans classroom discussions of sexual orientation and gender, gender identity, even in high school. Like a cancer, this hateful law has spread, with Republicans now censoring educators on a wide variety of topics. So it's no surprise my colleagues across the aisle want to export these same dangerous policies across America. Make no mistake, H.R. 5 undermines teachers, and instead of offering students more support, it effectively denies it. The result of this law in Florida has cleared bookshelves and canceled coursework and an AP exam on African American history. As a mother whose children attended public schools, I speak for millions of moms when I say all we want for our children is a safe learning environment that ensures they discover the wider world and not force them to grow into narrow-minded, ignorant adults. But this legislation just hands a vocal and extreme minority of parents the power to dictate what every American child learns. And to all my business-friendly Republicans, every classroom move to censor and ban leaves our children even less competitive on the global stage. Mark my words. Take it from this mom. We should reject this misguided legislation and instead unite to build classrooms where every child gets the resources and support they need to succeed in the 21st century. And Mr. Chairman, with that, I ask unanimous consent to enter the letter from the first focus campaign for children into the record, and I yield back the, ba the balance of my time. The gentlewoman's request to